And back to y'all, we are playing some Broken Sword 3, the Sweepy Dwagon. And uh, we found that secret passage. The ladder led back up to the repository. From the book repository. A crafty place to hide <clears throat> a secret tunnel. Switch our view, please. No. We're just going to walk into a secret base. Of course, there's crates, but we can't do anything with those crates. Some kind of ancient boiler. It was like something from a horror movie. I half expected to hear screams coming from inside. Anything in there? Big ass metal door, it looks like. Silence. That was either a sign, or there was just no one behind the door. That's where we came from. Let's try it. Probably gonna be locked. That door wasn't going to open. Like 90% of the doors in this game. Hey, they got a show. It was some kind of a rehearsal. As a one-time director of the Idaho Players, I was no stranger to the thespian arts. Where is it? We must have the location. I tell you, I don't know. Ah! Let me do this properly. I know I can break her. As you wish, Petra. I'm not scared of you, you bunch of thugs. Bravo! <laughs> Ooh! Where'd we get the popcorn? Senior Cicero, sir! Sorry to bother you. Yes, what is it now? We got a little problem downstairs. To be precise, Flap, what kind of a problem? An intruder problem. A guy's getting killed problem. Ah, just as I was getting comfortable. Suzaro, this was no rehearsal. And the girl giving the Oscar performance was my old friend Nico. This is very tiresome. We'll stay here, Miss Callard. Don't try anything. Some hope. What do you think mm. I'm going to do? Ask the audience for help? Mm, Flap, maybe. you watch her like a hawk. Like a hawk, Senor Cicero. The name is Suzaro. Senor Suzaro. Do mm -hmm. try and make an effort, Flap, or I shall have to kill you too. All right. So how are we going to get rid of that guy? Yeah, something tells me you're going to mess around in here, huh? The panel controlled the sound. Nico really needed my help. It was a panel to control the sound for the theater. I needed to find a way to help Nico. Well, that's what we're looking for. George. <clears throat> sound equipment controls. But their days were over. Someone had torn him to bits. I needed to find a way to help Nico. That's what we're in here doing, George, for real. This panel was also broken, deliberately, too. All right, let's see what else we got around here. <laughs> Make a run for it. Okay, we're in a the theater. Okay, so at least we know... way around here a little bit. Although we didn't 
do much exploring on this side. It looked like a disposable cup. It had been crushed. Yeah. Anything in the register? Wow. It was a classic cash register. Get, get a little, get a little I couple bucks. I remember these from when I was a kid buying candy. This wasn't the way to help Nico. Maybe there was some cash still inside. Well, the drawer was jammed, so I guess not. Not necessarily, man. I couldn't hear anything behind the door. It was locked and wouldn't open. It was some kind of old drinks maker. The kind where you had to mix the syrup and the soda yourself. Just two flavors, lemonade and cola. Nico could die while I was wasting this time. <laughs> Let's hope not. Damn, just my luck, no soda. Trying broken machines wasn't gonna help Nico. Dust and Weevils, my favorite theater snack. I was wasting time when I should have been helping Nico. I didn't buckets. want to take one with me. Okay, well, let's save it and then just run up there and see what happens. I realized the thug had spot me if I hung around. I mean, I figured we could drop something on his ass, right? From the catwalk. Whoa! The gangways were dangerous. They'd fallen away in places. It was a long way down. What do we got here? The rope held up the lighting rig. The lighting rig lowered part of the way, but then jammed fast. Alright, let's we'll shimmy our way across here. Because this is the favorite mechanic of this game. Hanging from the rigging was an old sandbag. It must have been used as a counterweight. Another sandbag? sandbag hung from the rigging. I knew this would get his attention. They would probably kill him. Well, well, well. Nicole Collar, tied to a chair, needing to be rescued again. George! Don't just stand there. Untie me. You know, this is becoming a habit. Maybe you should seek help. Okay, okay. Come on, hurry. She's going to kick his ass. These knots are tight. Aha, got it. Seriously, are you all right? Yeah. I'm fine. And it is good to see you. Your timing's perfect. It always was. So, how's Idaho, George? Same as ever. It's a great <laughs> vacation state. You ought to visit sometime. Got any friends who'd put me up? I could put a word in for you. You're a real sport. Why the sudden interest in theater? I'm on the trail of a guy who killed one of my clients. A man called Suzaro. That's the maniac who captured me. I know. I was watching Shouldn't they be stalls. talking about this somewhere else? I thought you were pretty good, by the way. Thanks. I wasn't looking forward to the next scene, though. Yeah. Those guys, they got their own special twist on the word corpse. So tell me about Suzaro. 
Cesaro connects back to the Neo Templars. Surprise, surprise. That explains idiot guy over there. So why are you here? The blonde. She killed the guy I was due to interview. Tracking her down brought me here. We're working on the same case. Now that's amazing. Yeah, Only if you believe in coincidence. Do you? No. Me neither. Come on, George. We can't sit around here all day. What's it? We didn't find... Nico? We were looking for. Yes, George? I wonder if you could help me out. It depends on what you want. What have you been up to? So, Nico, you still a reporter? Not according to my editor. Well, what happened? You get fired? No, I quit first. So why did the blonde kill the guy you were interviewing? He was trying to contact me. Said he had information about all this weird meteorological stuff going on. Said the world was going to end. It was one heck of a shot, but I guess the cleaners wouldn't be too pleased. Can we search him? <clears throat> yeah. Flat believed in traveling light, just his IQ and his gun. Me, I just put faith in the old IQ. So you didn't take the Nice gun. to see someone else with a headache for a change. I knew the guy all right. He used to work for the Grand Master. Flat, they called him. Last time I'd seen him, he was falling from an express train in Scotland. Just too butt ugly to die, I guess. All right, let's look around at all the stuff. Did they leave anything for us? I mean, do we go out the way we came in? Okay, that's just exit stage left. All right, let's see what do we got. Oh, a column? beautifully painted cloth backdrop. Oh. It was a perfect market scene. Fruit stalls and bric-brac stalls. I'd found a box of theatrical grease paints. The sight transported me back to another day in Paris. A yeah. peaceful cafe and a clown. And boy, did I hate clowns. Yeah, especially when they blow I you stuck up. my hand into the box and grabbed a stick. Bestheimer's number seven, white. What a lucky guess. I already had a stick of grease paint. I want more grease paint. I wondered what the button was for. Well, let's save it, because that's what we do best. Okay, we're underneath the stage. I don't think anybody's down here with us. There was nothing behind the door, or my ear problem was back. I bet it's your ear problem. The drawers in the dresser were empty. They looked as if they'd been emptied years ago. What do we got here? Some kind of play script in French. This wasn't the time to stop and read. Tucked under the counter was a safe. 
There was no dust on it. It was still in use. The rotting floor had begun to buckle under the weight. All right. How are we going to guess Damn. the combination? The safe was locked. But on reflection, that was hardly a surprise. The Should drawers in the dresser safe? were empty. We think it was a just wig? a wig mannequin. Okay, well, we gotta come back for the safe. Nothing down here. All right. Let's, do we learn anything Nico? we can ask her about? Yes, George. Take a look at this, Nico. I found it under the stage. Face paints. Well <laughs> done, George. Shall I paint your face like a tiger or maybe even a cute little bear? Some other time, I think, Nico. Do you want this grease paint, Nico? No, thanks, George. I already carry my own makeup. <laughs> you keep it. All right. The safe back there has recently been used, and it's locked. If it's important enough for Cesaro to keep in the safe. Exactly. What do we got on us? Some boxers. The grease paint reminded me of a trip long ago to a costumer. All right, so we looked in there. We did not go this way yet. Ugh. Is that a door? <clears throat> Apparently so. No sounds came from behind the door. So one of these days, it's actually going to tell us that there's... Ooh. That scared me. Stay away from me! I mean it! What the hell's up with this guy? Don't come in here! Stay away! Somebody has put the fear of God into him. Somebody, or something. And you know what? He's safe in there. And the thing is out here. I wondered if I should investigate. Then again, maybe not. Now I could hear listen. muttering through the door. Someone was in there, pacing the room and talking to himself. Okay, right, that looked like it was something. I had to go check it out. We gotta find that energy machine down here, the energy source, eventually. No sounds came from behind the door. Sure, it's just not your ear problem? Either the door was stuck, or it was just locked. Nico? Yes, George? I'm tired of listening at the doors. Let's just go in. The support strut was wedged between the floor and the ceiling. It was holding up the floor of the room above. I guessed the strut was supporting the safe in the room above. Oh, okay. It was the fuse box for the theater. It looked very old and very dangerous. It looked like a couple of the fuses had blown. There was only one fuse remaining. And why can't we just take that? A very old ladder. Judging by the woodworm, a very dangerous one, too. Trying to use that thing would be suicidal. A wooden ladder. I don't think I've ever even seen a wooden ladder. 
Oh, we got two doors in here? We do got two doors in here. I guessed the strut was supporting the safe in the room above. The strut wouldn't budge. The friction from the floor was too great. Oh, let's put a little grease on it. The grease paint was too old and hard to work into the gap. If only I had a liquid lubricant. Hmm. There was no soda, though. You can hear the mice. That's fucking gross. That door wasn't going to open. A liquid lubricant. Yeah, I don't have any liquids on me. Either the door was stuck, or it was just locked. Ooh, what do we got here? Oh my god, George! Look at this! Is that really necessary? His chest has been just... burned away. I've seen dead bodies before, but this guy's a real award winner. What is you... it? Ooh. Looks like he had chicken for lunch. Whatever George. could have caused this, George? You've never eaten in an English restaurant? Seriously. I don't know. I'm a lawyer, not a pathologist. The Who body the has been badly guy? mutilated. Ugh. I can't believe I'm going to do this. As I searched his pockets, I could swear he was watching me. But someone else had beaten me to it. All I found was an empty card holder. Did we take it? We did not. It looked like a card reader, but without buttons or a keypad. I wondered why it had been installed. With a hair grip and some foil from a chewing gum wrapper, I could have knocked together a rudimentary device to fuse the lock. Or... I could find the car that opened the door. That's where the I energy source is. just hear voices. I could see no way to open the door. I was willing to bet the card reader would open it. All I had to do was find a card. All right. So we need a liquid lubricant. I bet there's a card in the safe. Uh, but... Uh. What did that do for us? We haven't been upstairs since we did it. It was an old stage light burning brightly. Damn, that's hot. What an incredibly dumbass thing to do. <laughs> uh, do we have, let's use the old boxers on him. No way was I doing that. Mm. 
Nope, that wouldn't work here. I have a feeling we gotta get a light bulb somehow. Okay, all that bat machinery was jacked up. Come on, through the door, George. At the way out? I could hear some noises out on the street, but nothing important. The door was locked, and I didn't have a key to open it. I said there was no soda, but what about the lemonade? Nope, that wouldn't work here. I couldn't open it because it was locked. All right, so... We have been all across this place, as far as I could tell. Everything is totally happens downstairs. No way was I touching those lights again. That wouldn't work here. You get it. Nope, that wouldn't work here. No way was I doing that. Oh, come on, man. Live a little. Nico? Yes, George? I think the support strut is holding up the safe from underneath. Well, it was sagging through the floorboards. Hmm. Maybe there's more than one way to crack a safe. I think the support strut is holding up the safe from underneath. Well, yeah. it was sagging through the floorboards. Hmm. Maybe there's more than one way to crack a safe. Okay. You're not going to give me anything else to go on? We need a liquid lubricant. Did I see any fire anywhere? Ooh, we didn't come down here. There was nothing behind the door, or my or ear my problem, problem was back. Was back. Nope, not that way. That door wasn't going to open. So what's down here? Really? Nothing? There's not a damn thing down here. Ain't that a shame? Which room is this? It's the way down. Nico? Yes, George? I didn't mean to talk to you, Nico.
We already got some grease. A dark but very colorful alley scene. Scenic artist. Now that was a nice career. Why hadn't I thought of that? I mean, you're a patent attorney, man. I think you're doing okay for yourself. A huge pile of counterweights for the trap door. If I hadn't given up going to the gym, I would have been able to lift them all. Nico? Yes, George? Well, at least I know we can write it up. Can't do anything in there. Search that room. the one that goes downstairs all right here's homeboy that wanted to shoot us the door had been locked he wasn't letting anybody in Locked. Maybe from the other side? Hmm. All right, guys. Well, I think we're uh, running out of time here. And we can't find a liquid lubricant anywhere. Can we melt the grease? Okay. That wasn't the right approach. Aha! I just figured it out, y'all. Okay. Let's take our asses back up the stairs. So we got to melt the grease pencil, and the only thing hot we have found are these lights. The stage light was hot enough to melt the paint. As the grease paint melted, the smell was terrible, but at least it worked. All right, let's see if we can figure out how to get back down there. It was this way, right? And then around the corner. And I believe we're coming in here. I hoped the melted grease paint would work as a lubricant. Why wouldn't you just hit that lever? <gasps> oh. Even with the added grease, I still couldn't shift it on my own. Hey, Nico? 
Can you give me a hand here for a second? Yeah, of get course, over here. George. What do you want me to do? Push. Help me pull this strut away from the ceiling. That's pretty dangerous, George. Just trust me, okay? Very well. That could have been terrible. Oh, God! That's one way to crack a safe. You didn't say you were trying to crack my skull, too. Just the usual slight miscalculation. Yeah. You know me, Nico. You wouldn't be you bit. without it. What do we got here? Nico seemed to be upset that I'd nearly killed her. Ah, but heck, look on the bright side. The safe had sprung open when it hit the floor. Yeah, what did we get? There were two things inside. A key card and some kind of amazing artifact. It had been hewn from stone. Strange crystals were embedded within it. My God! Nico, look at this! What is it? Whatever it is, Cesaro must think it's important. So, let's take it. There was nothing left inside the safe. Did we get the key card? We did. That wouldn't work here. It was a swipe card for a security lock. The oddly shaped artifact was encrusted with blue crystals. Okay, well, let's get to that door. And then we'll call it a, we'll call it a night. I don't remember where that door was. Locked. Maybe from the other side? That's where the guy shot at us. Oh, it was around this corner, wasn't it? All right, I want to see what's on the inside. And then we'll save it. Hey, Nico, an elevator. You said you heard voices. We have a choice of down or down. You know, I've missed you. I've missed you too. Well, that's settled then. Aww. Shall we go? Let's go down. All right, well, we didn't get to see much, but we're down. We're going to wrap it up right there, guys. Drop a like if you haven't already. Drop us up if you're new. I'm out.